as you get into late July, early August, you're starting to get into the dog days of summer. And the big train knew that because even though the weather was hot, the big train was on fire. And I was making people pay for their mistakes, making singles in the doubles. And this one, look at this shot right here. Nice shot to right center field. My man has a good beat on the ball, but he makes a mistake of diving when he should have just played it off the wall. And the big train ain't too fast to turn that into three when the mistake was made. Because at this point in the season, the big train was on the tracks and he was moving on all cylinders. He was getting doubles, triples, hitting home runs. I thought everything was going well. It was made in the shade. The Yankees were out of the playoffs, but I was still having a good time. And then it happened. I should have seen it happening because, like I said, the Yankees were out of it. It was going to be a fire sale very soon. But usually you build around your young players, but not this time because the Yankees traded me to the St. Louis Cardinals for a bunch of prospects, and I was no longer wearing the pinstripes. And it blindsided me. No more sweet-ass chicken paw from Cafe 82. No more playing in front of my family every day. But you know what? You always got to look on the brighter side of things. I'm still in the major leagues. And I got traded to a team that's in first place in their division and they're looking to make a championship run this year. So if the Cardinals thought the big train was good enough to lead them to a World Series title, then the big train is going to show them that he's good enough to lead them to a World Series title. So St. Louis, get ready because the big train's pulling into the station and he's ready to pick you up and take you straight to the promised land on the road to the show. Well, 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 here we are, Milwaukee facing the Brewers. And the big train got some fresh new duds on right now. I can't say this is something I expected. You know, I know the Yankees were struggling. We were almost in last place. We were out of the playoff race already. Usually when you rebuild, when you have a fire sale, you build it around the best young player on the team. And the big train was the best young player on the team. So I didn't expect that they trade me. But you know what? We always look on the brighter side of things. The big train's a chicken palm eating mercenary. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to miss that sweet-ass chicken palm from Cafe 2 in New York. But if the Cardinals, a team that's going to make a run at the World Series, they say, we need an improvement. We need the best player at first base. And they looked at the big train, and they said that if we want him, then I'll do more than play for them. I'll be hitting some chicken palm bombs and strong thing for them. You know what I'm saying? Plus, red is my favorite color, so I don't even mind. So the Cardinals, you want the big train, you got the big train. We're in first place in the division. We're ready to make a playoff run. <laughs> Let's make it happen. I gotta say, big train ain't looking too bad in that red. The Cardinals, they like, they like the Yankees of the National League. They haven't been around as long as the Yankees, you know what I'm saying? But they have the tradition. They have the quote unquote classy fans. And they got a lot of World Series rings. So I'm, I'm glad to play for the Cardinals. I can't play for the Yankees. My childhood dream team. The, the Cardinals ain't too bad. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if we get a hit on the first at bat. Shows, show that they traded for the right person right here. Come on. What you got for me? Ah, that's a shot. Ah, nice five. Go five. Go, yeah, ah, ah, there we go. Another good thing about being traded is that you get to see a lot of stadiums. I mean, I know with the uneven schedule now, the, you know, uh, interleague play is all year round. But there's a lot of stadiums that we didn't get to see in our two years playing in the Yankees. So I'm going to be able to see the Brewers Stadium. We're going to be going to Cincinnati. Play at the Great American Ballpark. Going to play against the Giants. Playing that ball-ass ballpark. You know what? This ain't going to be too bad. As long as I can stay hitting, as long as we can make a playoff run, I'm content with this trade, even though the Yankees didn't want me. All right. Ah, that's a shot right there. Do I have a home run as my first at bat as a Cardinal? It is. Oh, it's off the wall. It's all right. So I go for three. I'm going for three. I'm going for three. Big Train's getting out of the tracks. Big Train's about to get gunned. At the, oh, no, I'm safe. There we go. That's how you start it off. Welcome to the National League, Big Train. Enjoy your stay. And if I have a lot more bats like that, I'm going to enjoy it a hell of a lot. <laughs> Moving his fat ass around the base for a nice triple. Showing the Cardinals that they got a valuable player on their team right now. That's how you do it. Let's get a run. Oh, come on, yada yada, yay. All you need to do is put a little bat head out there, flick it into right field. We got an easy freaking run. That's right, that was a good first at bat for the big transfer Cardinal. Let's see if we can win our first game. All right, top third, top Big one, one second at bat after that ball ass here. triple to start my career as a Cardinal. And I just realized something between innings. You see that stash right there? The Yankee rules said that I could have the sweet ass stash, which I actually grown to love. I don't know if you guys learned to love it. 
but I can't have a beard. But now that I'm on the Cardinals, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I can have a beard again, right? So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. If you guys want me to grow the beard back and have the old big train back with the fluffy-ass beard, let me know in the comments below. If you want me to keep the sweet-ass stash, let me know in the comments below as well because we can do either one right now. Unless the Cardinals have a no beard policy that I don't know about it. And if that happens, then let me know in the, in the comments below as well. But for now, we're going for that head eye. 2 -0 count. This is exactly what we're going to work right here. This is exactly what you want to do as a hitter. You know on the 2 -0 count is dangerous. Let's, let's switch to that power swing. Come on. No, uh-uh. 3 -0. He don't want to pitch to the big train. He saw what I did to him in that first freaking at bat. I was swinging a strong ding. It didn't go over the fence. But I still swung it. So see we has three. Oh, no. Oh, that's my. Ooh. You guys know that's my power spot right there, too. By the 3-0, you got to wait for that. Let's see what he gives us a 3-1. Let's see if it's right down the middle. Come on. Oh, oh, that's a shot. That's going deep as well. It is going. It is going. And it is caught by the right fielder. I put a good swing on it. Just didn't hit a fall. No, that's all right, though. That's all right. Top five up 2-1, man. I'm first. No out. So we're going to be trying to avoid the double play right here, which I seem to love to freaking hit into all the damn time. But you know what? Thinking about this trade more and more, I'm starting to like it a little bit because not only am I going to a division lead and we're going to have to make a run at the World Series as long as we keep it up and keep our three-game lead in this division. But also, I'm getting away from New York a little bit. You know, my whole life, I've been a New York kid, New York City, Manhattan. I was comfortable with the pitch stripes. I could live at home with my parents still. It was a comfort zone right here. So going to the Cardinals is going to force the big train to leave his comfort zone a little bit. I'm going to have to find some new food. I heard you guys got some good-ass barbecue out here, so I'm going to be eating a lot of that. But also, I could create my own legacy away from home. And, you know, there's always free agency, so I can come back to the Yankees if they still want me. But I'm going to make it happen out here. Right, three old cows. Let's make it happen in this at bat right now. My oh, man, our first definitely ain't going to steal because he's slow as hell and he has no stealing ability. But uh, I might work a walk right here. Come on, what you got for me? Uh, uh, oh, all right. All right. Same situation that last at bat. If he throws it right over the middle, I'm taking a good swing at it. Hopefully, I hit it somewhere where the field isn't. Where at? Ah, damn it. Of course, he throws a changeup. He gives me a juicy pitch right down the middle, a little bit outside where I like it. It's a freaking changeup. All right, I remember that. Give me something low so I could drive. Hit it with my three wood. Ooh. All right, that was a little bit high. I don't like that pitch. All right, that's a nice at bat right here. What else you got for me? Come on. I know that's right down the middle, but that's not my pitch right there. My pitch is a little bit lower than that. Oh, oh that's my pitch right there, and I got under it. That was the perfect pitch for me, and I got under it. Ah. At least we got a triple to start the game, so it ain't you know, no complete watch. And we got one more at bat, and we're winning. And it's a new team. There's a whole lot of stuff going on. You know, a lot of times people forget Big Trade's a package deal right here. I'm going to catch his power. I, you know, it's not a hard play, but I have a pretty good glove, too. So, you're not only getting one of the greatest hitters in the major leagues, but you're getting a solid glove at first base. So, the Cardinals, you made the right move right here. And that was the wrong move by him to swing at that pitch. What the hell are you swinging at, young blood? All right, top seven, three, two. Got triple in the first. By the way, Operation hit 330 protocol, still in full swing. See right there, he's still hitting 333. You got a lefty on the mound. I had two good at bats, First pitch coming. but I just couldn't get the ball to a place where the fielders so weren't in those two at bats. So let's see if we can rectify that and this one go two for four on the day in our Cardinals debut. That'll be cool if we go two for four, show them what they traded for. What's this right here? Oh, you know what I don't like? I don't like it how when you swing at a pitch and foul it off, it doesn't show you how fast it was, the miles per hour. Because that seemed like a slow-ass fastball, but I don't know because they don't show me the damn miles per hour. Okay. All right, he has me on the ropes right now. I'm about to hit him with the rope, but trying to protect the plate. What you got for me right here, young blood? Come on. Ooh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That wasn't a good swing. I was just protecting the play, and I just fly that one out to right field. That's all right, though. We hit 250 on the day. Got a triple already. Maybe we'll get one more at bat. All right, up 5-2, top nine. The game's pretty much in the bag, and we're just looking for insurance runs right here. And I'm looking to go two for five. If I could go two for five or 400, it looks a lot better than the 250 in your debut with a new team. So got a lefty on the mound. See if we're going to get better at bat this time. We've had two good at bats, one great at bat, and one terrible at bat. Let's see if we can put this one in the great column. And going one out of the stars is definitely a good way to do that. What you got for me? Come on. Ooh, ooh, okay. I see you. Working that high outside corner. You know I won't swing at that. You can throw me three pitches up there in a row, and I ain't going to swing at it. Maybe I fire one off, but I hate that pitch right there. I need something a little bit lower. It's like that. Oh, they saw me off. That was an illegal pitch. You hit me with the damn buzzsaw. 
play for round number two. So I'm gonna check that baseball. I'm sure you put some razor blades into that bastard. How the hell? That wasn't even that inside. How the hell that saw me off? I must have been batting with a broken bat. That ain't good looks. I don't even know if my bat's broken or not. Right, at least we're gonna win the game. And that's it. Like I said, at least we won the game. I didn't have the best debut. I started off with a triple, which is a nice way to say hello to St. Louis and you guys who wanted me. But one for five. Definitely ain't the usual big trade performance, but it's better than nothing. And it's especially good when it's my first game on a new team. So again, acclimated to a new locker room, a new environment. Still trying to find places to get some good ass chicken palm. But you know what? The Yankees didn't want me. The Cardinals did. I can only play for the team that pays me. The big trades, the chicken palm mercenary. If you pay me, I'll play. The Cardinals will pay me right now. We're going to make a run at the World Series. I'm going to do my best to swing with the strong ding. His main chicken palm bobs in St. Louis as possible. So, with that being said, I got some more logistics to take care of. I got to move all my stuff out here to St. Louis. I got to find an apartment. I'm going to do that right now. Settle in, get comfortable. And we're going to go on a tan. Like, you never seen the big train go on a tan before. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. A lot of stuff went on in this one. And it's a big train into the Road to the Show series. So, this is an important episode from now on. Hopefully, that means we're going to see the playoffs this year. And if it does mean that, then that's ball as hell. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for all support as always. We're here on the Cardinals now, and we're going to do our thing, all right? That being said, I love you dudes, and I'll see you later. Peace.